So if you want to look and feel fabulous over 50 and you don't want to risk looking tired or drab, you're in the right place. Stay tuned to find out more in this special series. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, the channel for ladies over 50 who want to look and feel fabulous and a special warm welcome if you're new here. This is the third episode in my exciting series on how to look and feel fabulous after 50. If you haven't seen my first two videos, you'll want to catch them as soon as you can. They explain everything about this series and they've got some really great tips that you don't want to miss out on. This series is the big reveal on all the secrets on how to make the very best of ourselves and live our best lives after 50. These are all doable and easy tips to help us to be happy and confident about the way we look and feel. We're in our prime, ladies, and we deserve to look and feel fabulous. Remember, age is no limit to fabulousness. So let's continue on our journey together, ladies, to create a new and fabulous you. And don't forget, at the end of this video, there'll be a bonus tip, which you'll want to stay for. And at the end of the series, there's going to be a fabulous giveaway. To be entered into the giveaway, all you need to do is comment on my videos, and that will enter you into the YouTube comment picker. And the prize will be announced really soon. And by the way, to really jumpstart your quest to look and feel fabulous, you'll want to subscribe to my channel, where you get inspiration and fresh ideas on how to look amazing, and it's free. So let's get straight into it. Secret number 11 of my 50 to look and feel fabulous. Secret number 11 is use a neutral lip pencil on your upper lip. Now our faces change as we get older and often we lose volume, uh, particularly from our cheeks. You can see here, here's some examples obviously. And another area where loss of volume uh, can be really noticeable is in the lips, especially the upper lip, which tends to give the impression of getting smaller as we get older. Now if you're not getting collagen implants into your lips, why not try an easier and much cheaper option, a cosmetic option, a lip pencil a neutral lip liner. Now, lip liner is an incredible invention. It does so many things. Obviously, it, it prevents the lipstick from um, feathering out into the skin. Um, and obviously, it makes your painted pout last much longer. But importantly, it creates contours. It can even reshape the lips. It can make uneven lips look even with lots more volume as well. The neutral lip pencil is particularly useful in creating these contours. So our lips actually have two outlines, one on the edge of the lips where the lip skin stops and another just outside the lips. And this is where you need to apply your neutral lip pencil to your upper lip in order to make it look larger. Upper lips lose more volume than lower ones. So this is very important. So we need to compensate for this by drawing a lovely lip in, but don't overdraw it. It, of course. And don't forget to play up your cupid's bow as well. It can look so pretty when it's defined. If you use a neutral lip liner, don't worry about matching the colour because it can go under any colour of lipstick. Choosing the perfect nude pencil for you personally is all to do with the colour of your lips. When they've not got anything on them, are they red based, are they brown based, or do they have purple undertones? And this will help determine which nude pencil is best for you. You need to find one that is as close as possible to your actual lip colour. Now my recommendations, and the ones that I use the most, include this one. This is Mac Spice uh, here. It's iconic, it's a real classic nude. You can see on here it's a real classic colour. but. If it's a little bit dark for you, you might like to try this softer nude called Oak. It's lighter and softer in tone. And another brilliant brand for iconic nude liners is Charlotte Tilbury, which I wear this one all the time. This one is called Iconic Nude. So you can see how iconic it is because it's called Iconic. Um, it's wonderful, it's soft, it's even softer than the MAC. It's more of a gel sort of consistency. It goes on really smoothly. You can see the two different colours of nude there. Now you can see how long lasting they are because I've just been rubbing, trying to get those two off and you can still see the colour there. So very long lasting, good quality, both of those brands. Now you can choose whichever colour you like, of course, um, but you do tend to get what you pay for with lip pencils. You know, if you choose a, a really, 
really uh, economical one. It tends to be perhaps drag your lips a bit much, be a bit drying. You do get what you pay for with lip liners. Okay, so let's move on to my 12th secret, which is think about your foundations with figure fixing shapewear. Now, when we reach a certain age, things start to slip slightly, don't they? Things that were once pert and upright tend to slant downwards a little, don't they? So a key way to look more youthful and more fabulous is to invest in the foundations underneath our clothes. Invest in good undergarments, and in this case, shapewear. We need to create a smooth silhouette, something like this, of course, in an ideal world. Um, that means buying underwear, which first of all, fits. It's a basic thing, but many of us don't keep abreast, oh, that was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> of our changing body shape. We do need to get regularly refitted for the right bra size because it can change. Now, if you're wearing a bra that um, is slightly too small, for example, you're wearing a 34 inch round and actually you probably need a 36 inch round, this will radically affect the look of the lumps and bumps um, underneath your clothes, especially in the back. I know because actually it's happened, that exact thing has happened to me. Um, just move up a size, not a cup size necessarily, but a size round. Try it, you'll thank me. You could think about getting a bra a bit like this. This is the Wonder Bra t-shirt bra, which leaves no visible line under your clothes. Really good. Um, this one's from ASOS, UK and US. Now the second thing that you need to consider is that your undergarments support you. This is really important, of course, especially if you're uh, a little full bodied, um, like a fine wine. Now these bras are strapless, but they give excellent support. Really, really good. The new ultimate strapless bra from Wonder Bra. Okay, so the third thing obviously is to consider shapewear. Now I know this is a really personal thing. Some ladies like it, some don't, but it's well worth considering, even if you're not too keen. Now Spanx is obviously a great option through Spanx themselves or even through ASOS, which have very good prices. Have a look at this one. This is a high-waisted mid thigh piece, which hits all the right places to pull in your lumps and bumps. So perfect for under skirts, dresses, trousers, and the soft nude color is perfect too. Now if you don't want to go the whole hog with um, uh, garments quite so large, go for something less significant, something like these everyday shaping pants from Spanx. Um, but whichever item you choose, just the end result of wearing shapewear like that will be a smooth, sleek figure, which will make your uh, silhouette much sleeker and you'll feel much more confident and attractive. Okay, so before I go on to my 13th point, um, just to say that I will link everything that I mentioned, everything that I wear in the video, in the video links underneath this video description if you just scroll down so that you can browse or shop. So number 13, colour drench. Colour drench is guaranteed to make you look chic and sophisticated. Colour drench is basically what it says on the tin, head to toe in similar tints of the same colour. It's really loved by designers as well because it makes everybody look so polished. I love this look and I think it's just great for us ladies to make us feel look and look fabulous and superb for so many reasons. The first one, it's chic and polished, it's a lovely look. Secondly, it looks modern as well, it looks on trend. It helps you to look taller, which is wonderful for many of us of course, I'm only five foot four so it's a great look for me. It's slimming, it gives you a whole column of just one colour, very slimming effect. It looks chic and sophisticated. It's very versatile. You can do it with any colour you want. So whatever colour you love, whatever colour suits your skin tone, your hair colour, you can go with it and do a colour drench on that. And um, did I mention it looks incredibly chic? I really think that colour drench is a great way to boost your confidence. It's an effortless way to ramp up your style and fabulousness. Now, you can also create extra interest by introducing different textures, you know, such as tailored trousers or a tailored skirt with silk or faux fur with velvet. So let me demonstrate this in my outfit here. This outfit here, um, as I said, you can select any colour that you want. Now I've gone with winter whites um, because I've got this massive love affair with them at the moment and I really feel happy wearing them. As you can see, I'm wearing these beautiful ivory trousers. These are from Karen Millen absolutely gorgeous. Now I did wear them in the previous video and I promised you a bit more information about them. So they're high-waisted, 
um, as you can see with a sort of a band around the waist so they're a great shape for us they pull in all the lumps and bumps and just cover them up basically they're structured they're tailored they've got a crease down the middle of the leg which also adds to this look as well now I've paired them in this outfit with my ivory roll neck sweater which is from River Island an incredibly useful classic you know it's a bit like one of those black turtlenecks uh, but it's white obviously very classic you can put them with so many things it's slimming as it's ribbed it fits well but it's not too tight I've also added my nude flat pumps from June um, which have a touch of gold on the heel to add a little bit of interest and a little bit of pizzazz as well now, if you like this look, I've sourced some other gorgeous little items that you might like to have a little look at. Um, these are mango ivory straight suits trousers. So um, if the other ones are not in stock, you might like to try these. £35, really classic, very reasonably priced. Um, now, other colour drench items to add to the outfit or mix and match, you could think about this stunning Theodore ivory coat from Revolve. Absolutely beautiful. And then also from Revolve, if you wanted to mix and match the sweater with more of a blouse look, um, Free People Blossom Pearl Bodysuit. Absolutely beautiful. Or of course, you could wear a complete outfit, a whole colour drench in a form of a dress, such as this River Island beige ribbed jumper dress, which I also love. Okay, so let's move to a secret which is a little bit different, actually. Number 14 stay fabulous at home now of course we're all focused on these little tweaks that make you look and feel fabulous when you're out and about but don't forget to bring those standards back home with you as well there's absolutely no reason why we should all turn into cinderellas as soon as we walk through the front door and we take off all those gorgeous items yes you want to be comfortable yes you don't want to make much or any effort at all but there's no reason why you couldn't snuggle up in these beautiful luxe fabulous slippers like these. These are the grey faux fur open toe River Island slippers. Absolutely stunning. Here they are in all their glory. Just look at them. Bling but classy bling with pearls, with the gold chain, with the beautiful velvet looking thing and also the faux fur. And there's a second pair. These ones, they are beige diamante slippers again absolutely stunning more faux fur more little bits of diamante beautiful velvet really gorgeous how lovely would it feel to look down at your feet and see them dressed in those babies okay so uh, on to my final secret for today number 15 find a celebrity whose style you identify with. Do you ever watch women in the public eye and you think, wow, she looks so amazing and her style somehow resonates with you and it speaks to you? Often these celebrities inspire us because we perhaps feel that they look a little bit like us or their style is a little bit similar to how we look or how we'd like to look. But what's really wonderful is that we can learn so much from them, what to do and of course, what not to do. For instance, I'm not sure that many of us will be challenging Kim Kardashian's latest outfit um, here, which she wore to the Met Gala. It may be Balenciaga, but you know, there are limits. Often it's when celebrities are in their most relaxed mode that we can learn from them. These pictures here of Jennifer Aniston are revealing on how she looks chic with everyday relaxed style and how she achieves that. For me, I'd like to share with you an actress who, on one of her films, I got huge inspiration from. I don't normally like her style that much, she's a little bit grungy for me, uh, but the film that she was in, absolutely to die for. Um, it was Mr and Mrs Smith and it's Angelina Jolie. She was all fitted pencil skirts and turtleneck jumpers, simple, incredibly well-fitted jackets and trousers, everything tailored with an inch of its life, and I loved it. And here she is in head-to-toe Ferragamo. So classic, so elegant. So, who gives you inspiration? I'd love it if you could share in the comments box who inspires you and whose style inspires you. Okay, so it's time for the bonus tip. And today, it's an app. It's called Think Dirty. Now, don't think that it's actually dodgy. It's not at all. Um, <laughs> it's very, very clean. And you'll understand why in a second. 
It's an app which rates more than 2 million beauty products in terms of how clean they are, how good they are for the environment, which ones have been tested on animals, which ones are truly vegan, which are women-owned businesses, which are cruelty-free, paraben-free, low-waste brands, and which products contain chemical sunscreen, and also which ones can actually be called natural. Okay, so here's the app, Think Dirty. It goes straight into a huge list of products. Uh, there's over two million here, moisturizers, toners, cleansers, everything. Um, and there's all of these different options up here. But let's go straight into um, one of the products that I mentioned today, which was the Charlotte Tilbury um, I, uh, lip liner, lip pencil, here we are, uh, lip cheat, reshape, resize lip pencil, and we'll see how clean that is as a product, and that's pretty good, it's got 24 ingredients, 23 of which are clean, and you can go into the ingredients list if you really want to, um, you could even shop for it through here, but I would just get it for information to be honest, um, but uh, it talks about, it also would mention if there was any products that were dirty down here, so it's a pretty good product. So this helps really if you want to be more informed to make up your own mind if you want to buy a product um, and to compare products too. Now I used to work for a large beauty company, a large American beauty company actually, um, so these things are really important to me. It's a great resource and if you want to know how clean a product is, uh, this app has it at your fingertips and it's free. Okay, so don't forget to watch out for the next videos in this exciting series. And also don't forget that all the links of all the items that I've shown and worn are in the video description underneath this video. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and also have an amazing day and I will see you really, really soon. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.